A few days after his duel with Brienne, Sandor is found and nursed back to health by former soldier and Septon Ray, who takes him to live with his band of villagers. While building a sept, Ray recounts saving Sandor after mistaking him for a corpse. When Ray mentions justice, Sandor responds that if there was justice in the world, he should have been punished for his past crimes. Ray responds that perhaps he has been punished already but been given a second chance. Sandor is present when Ray gives a talk to the villagers recounting how his violent experiences as a soldier had led him to undergo a conversion experience. Later, the villagers are visited by three horsemen from the Brotherhood without banners, led by Lem Lemoncloak, who attempt to extort the group. Brother Ray tells the riders that they have no gold or weapons and the horsemen leave. Following the encounter with the Brotherhood, Sandor tells Ray that they should have shared their food and steel with them. While Ray thinks that they have seen the last of the Brotherhood, Sandor thinks they will return. After chopping wood in the forest, Sandor returns to the village only to discover that the Brotherhood has massacred the villagers. He finds the Septon hanging from a beam in the wooden sept. Angered by the cold-blooded murder of innocents, Sandor grabs his axe and heads off. He tracks down two of the suspected perpetrators and two innocent young men sitting around a campfire. Suspecting them all to be the perpetrators, Sandor brutally kills the two innocent young men, decapitating one of them, then burying his axe into the second before slitting the first outlaw's throat and finally swinging his axe into the second outlaw's crotch. He demands Lem's whereabouts, but the man only answers with, fuck you. Sandor then mocks the bandit, saying, those are you last words. Fuck you, and says he could do better. The bandit then calls him a cunt, prompting Sandor to say he is, shit at dying, before finishing him off with an axe to the head. Sandor eventually finds Lem and his two cronies, about to be hanged by Beric Dondarrion and Thoros of Mir. Sandor demands the privilege of murdering them himself, but relents and settles by hanging Lem and one crony personally, then taking Lem's boots for himself. Later, while eating with the Brotherhood, Beric reminisces on his previous fight with Sandor and convinces him to join their cause, as they are heading north to counter the coming White Walkers.